Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I'm gonna take this rig and this net out there. We're gonna get whiting, we're gonna get trout, we're gonna get something to do a catch and cook with. Finally, the double jigs worked for a whiting. I was looking for trout in the surf because I saw stuff busting bait. Look at that. Got a whiting on a trout rig. All right, all right. You just saw the first fish that set this catch and cook off. I didn't have the net out here at the moment. Well, we caught them on the same bait. This net, it's got a lot of weight on it, so it can just float next to me. It's not gonna go anywhere. Just like earlier, before I had the net with me, I was wading out here and I saw some activity and that's what we're doing now. We're gonna wade out. Oh, I see it way out there. I'm just gonna get a good way so I'm about waist deep. We'll see how far we can go and just start focusing on the activity we see. See this PVC pipe? I don't know what it's attached to, if anything, if it's a marker of some kind, but I keep seeing fish and they seem to be holding to it. I'm gonna wade over to it and see what it is. But until I get there, I'll work this jig around it. I don't know what someone was doing, but there's this twine attached to it and that is attached to nothing. I'll have to bring this in with me. Maybe somebody was trying to trot line out here. I'm sorry. I, know, I thought it was fun. Hope you get a bird snap. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice. We caught the thin blue line. Look at that. When I'm here at the beach, white and chartreuse double jigs are my favorite thing to fish for trout and other things that might be here. This is a good day to do this because we have low waves. We have one foot waves, fairly calm, almost no wind. And we've got some activity in front of us. I don't know if it's trout. See like right there. I've not ever, that's a double negative for you guys. Yeah, I've never got a whiting on this jig rig before. So that's cool. That's a first. What else will I get? Oh, look at that. Nice. Good little fight here. Whiting. Finally, I got smart and I tipped my jigs with shrimp flavored fish bites. All right guys, fun day, but kind of slow, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you give up at some point. Let's get to the house and check on those garden gnomes on the stove. I'm hungry. The stove gnomes, that's what they are, right? The stove gnomes, the oven gnomes, the cooking gnomes, the kitchen gnomes. All right, I'm gonna stop now. Here's the garbage that I pulled out. Let's get rid of that. Hello, kitchen gnomes. Hello, fish. Hello, knife. I should have actually 
said hello lunch because that's what's up I'm gonna cut one of these for you and proceed with the other starving by the way these have been on ice when I got back I just did what I had to do and I crashed these are probably the best tasting fish in the surf that you can catch they're a little underrated there's a lot of us that feel that way that they're the best to eat out there but I guess it's open to your opinion maybe you think speckle trout are the best out there to eat maybe you think redfish but these as a bait fish as bait, bait fish go these are awesome to take home for the table they're also awesome to use as bait of course there we go there's one off this particular species of fish it is really easy to cut right through the rib cage without doing very much damage to the knife so that's what's up on at least two of these fillets we have the rib cage still on the fillet so we have to trim that off so it's these two here this one and this one the two last to take off the skin you could do this with it on the skin still or go ahead and take it off the skin you want to run your finger down the fillet find that line of ribs insert the knife at an angle try to ride that rib cage there we go nice little strip of fish lemon pepper get a good amount in there this is seafood magic honey mustard just a little bit I added just a little bit of water <laughs> I forgot to film that just a little bit gently just mixing this up by doing this with the bowl I'll do it for a while till all the seasoning seems to be evenly dispersed and the seafood magic has changed the tint of everything that will mean we're good to go I'm gonna put this in the fridge too and let it marinate for a bit This is a half of an onion from a previous catch and cook, which was just the other day. Get that nice and separated. I put this butter out over an hour ago about that and it's testimony to just how hot it is in my kitchen right now we already got liquid butter in this saucer yes I'm putting a fair amount in I've got the pan on a medium heat get my onions in there a small amount of thawed frozen peas I'm just gonna dump what's left in this bag get them nice and kicked around in there leave that covered for a little bit just let those cook for a second been maybe two minutes some of the onions are browning up 
that looks good to me. I think we need to add the fish. Everything. I believe this is the first time I've used honey mustard as a marinade. Definitely the first time attempting to make a sauce with it. It already smells really good. I don't see a problem using this dressing as a marinade or making sauce. Definitely don't want to up the heat. I think I would rather turn it down a little bit. Just a little bit to low medium. And I'm going to cover it again, but pay attention to it. It's been less than a minute. About lost the spatula there. This fish will go soft really fast. Doesn't take much to cook it. We'll just make sure we do a flip. Probably just going to do the one flip. It's still, still not ready. It's getting close. This is thickening up. Thickening up faster than I thought. I was wondering if I was going to have to add some kind of thickening agent to get this sauce thick. But I don't believe I'm going to need to do that now. It smells really good. Since I've never really done this particular concoction before, I did a taste test. I want to add just a hair more. We are done. As usual in my house, this is going over rice. It's just lunch. It's a substantial lunch though. Too hot in here for a hat. It is pretty hot. Hot. Mmm. So what is my opinion of this concoction I just came up with? Definitely interesting, not bad, but honestly it's not to my taste. I'm going to eat it. I like it, but it's not really what I like. Mm. It is good though. I do like it. It's just not my usual fare in the kitchen. Mm. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you next time.